welcome to sundar's lecture uh, this is lecture number uh, 44 and in this lecture we are going to take a numerical problem related to rc circuit right so what are all the topics we have seen in the previous class uh, we have started with the ac through rc circuit and uh, uh, we have gone for, uh, we have gone through phasor diagrams uh, voltage phasor diagrams and then we have uh, seen what is the impedance triangle and this is also voltage triangle we can say this as a voltage triangle, impedance triangle and power triangle. Everything we have seen in the previous class. right? And we have uh, concluded that the impedance in the RC circuit will be R minus JXC. Uh, in the case of uh, RL circuit, it will be R plus JXC, JXL. Right? And uh, the cos theta formula, all those kind of things and all will be same here. Anyhow, uh, capacitor uh, current will lead the voltage by 90 degree. And um, inductive current will lax the voltage by 90 degree. That is the only difference between RC and RL circuit. Right? Uh, other formulas will be same. Uh, only Z will vary. Z will be will be is equal to R minus JXC, and there it will be R plus JXC. That's all. that is the only difference uh, in the formulas. Right? So we will take up a problem now. See, it is very simple problem. Anyhow, we will go for this. So a series circuit of R is equal to 10 ohms and XC is equal to 15 ohms, right? So, they have given you R and C, a series circuit of R and C is connected and, uh, as applied as an applied voltage of 50 volt at an angle of 90 degree minus 90 degree. See here, voltage does not have a reference phasor. Even we, we are going to take this as a reference phasor, anyhow we have uh, derive the expression for the voltage as a reference phasor, but here we do not have 0 degree, but we have a minus 90 degree that you have to consider here. Anyhow, I will write the uh, given data as given. So, what are all the things they have given you? See, R is equal to 10 ohms, X is equal to 15 ohms. So, R is equal to 10 ohms comma xc is equal to 15 ohms and then they have given you voltage voltage will be is equal to 50 at an angle of minus 90 degree and then uh, that is rms they have given you rms here anyhow if they are not giving you it as rms you have to consider it to be rms and we need to find real power reactive power apparent power right what is real power real power p is equal to we need to find and um, reactive power that means that is q is equal to we need to find and apparent power s is equal to we need to find and also we need to find the power factor value right these are all the questions you need to find the values right so now what we can do we if you want to find what is the power uh, that means uh, uh, real power we know the formulas we know uh, all the formulas right what is this one v into i cos pi and uh, for q it will be v into i sin pi this is sin pi and for s it will be v into i and for power factor it will be cos of pi so this is the formula right now we need to know what is the value of pi and uh, what is the value of uh, v and i these are all modulus values these are all magnitude values right magnitude values only modulus values right? v i all those kind of things so we we try to find all these values now so first what you do you go for z what is z z will be is equal to r minus j x that we know already this formula we have seen so you write this formula now what is this one what is r here 10 minus 15 j Right. This is the formula. Now, what you do, you just convert this value to, this is in rectangular form, you just convert this to polar form. So, what you will get uh, is that will be is equal to 18 point, if I convert this to uh, polar form, that will be 2. So, this will be 18.0227 at an angle of minus 56.31 degree ohms. See, whatever the angle you are getting in impedance, that should be the pi value. Try to understand this because this is the difference between R and J. 
R and J. What, what, what is the difference between the R that means resistor, Q resistor and impedance of the capacitor will, will give you the pi value. That is what we have seen here. Any, all those kind of things and all we can easily um, relate. See, this is the impedance triangle. See, this is the value of R. This is the value of R and this is the value of XE. Right? XE. And if, if, if this magnitude value differs, then this pi angle will be also different. See, if it is here and if it is here, then the, then your result will be like this. Then this angle will reduce now. Try to understand that uh, uh, that difference you try to understand. right? So, this depends. So, what is this one? This is obviously pi value. So, you can directly write pi will be is equal to minus 56.31 dv. See another thing, <coughs> you, you can ask another thing also here. See it is negative, so, so if it is negative then the angle is lagging, no it is a leading angle because is it angle if it is a negative value then if it is come to, comes to the current then it will be a positive angle because is it is inverse of current right inversely proportional to current. So obviously what you have to write this current this sorry this angle this angle this angle is leading is leading. If in Z if it is a positive angle then it is a lagging angle. Try to understand small small things you, you if you practice this one you will get a good idea anyway so this is the angle now so now what we can do we can go for i value now i to find i how will you find i so i will be is equal to v by z right what is v here they have given you that is 50 at an angle of minus 90 degree and for z they have we have found it has been found that it is uh, like this minus 56.31 degree c now if you find what is i i i will get a leading angle okay. so so finally if i find i if i find i by simplifying this expression i comes out to be 2.7735 at an angle of minus 33.69 degree why this angle is comes out to be minus since you you see i told you uh, this is a negative if uh, then if it is comes to the current it becomes positive no since our voltage here it, it is given as minus 90 degree this is also coming uh, coming as a minus uh, degree angle uh, try to understand this always we will get a voltage as a reference phase that it is a zero degree then it will be a positive 56.31 always so you, you you try to understand that pi value is the value whatever the value you are getting in the impedance you don't take this as the pi value so many students will do a mistake that they will take this as a pi value Sorry, it is not a pi value. The only the uh, angle, whichever the angle it is comes uh, ca coming in the impedance value, you have to take it as angle. Okay, fine. Now, since it is a minus 90 degree uh, voltage phase R, we are getting a negative, again negative for the uh, current value here. Right? So, now what we can do, so this is the value of I we have found. Now, it is very simple to find what is what are all the other values because since we, since we know what is V now, V, v will be is equal to 50, min, 50 at an angle of minus 90 degrees. So, so, we know both the values now. So, modulus of V will be is equal to 50 volt and modulus of I will be is equal to minus uh, 2.7735, right. So, both the values you know now. So, from this one you can easily find what is the P value power we can go for it so p will be is equal to v i cos pi cos pi so it will be is equal to 50 into 2.7735 into cos of what is this one minus 56.31 so if you simplify this power will be is equal to 
uh, I am getting 76.93 watts. 76.93 watts. So, this is the power value. Then, if you are going for uh, Q, that means uh, reactive power, this is Vi sin pi, and we know all the values. Uh, that means 50 into 2.7735 um, into, into cos of minus 56.31. And if I simplify this, Q will be is equal to, um, I am getting, that is 115, 115.3846 VAR, actually this is the VAR value. So, this is the reactive power value. And uh, if I go for uh, apparent power, S, yes, right, S yes will be is equal to V into I. And this is directly we can get that is 20 to 50 into 2.7735. And if I find this, then P will be is equal to, sorry, this is not P, maybe yes, right. So, yes will be, final yes will be is equal to, I am getting, it has 138.675. Volt ampere. This is volt ampere. Try to understand the SI unit of uh, um, S will be volt ampere, Q will be VAR, P will be watts. And what is the power factor? Power factor is very simple one cos pi. We know what is pi. So, power factor to find power factor, power factor will be cos of minus cos pi may be and we can write it as cos of minus 56.31 minus 56.31 or plus 56.31 both will be same because cos of plus theta and cos of minus theta will be same and power factor comes out to be it is 0 0.5547 and you need to and you need to tell this as a leading power factor leading power factor why? Because the current, uh, because you are getting a negative uh, angle in the impedance value. So, this is how you need to simplify a problem. Right? So, we will take up another problem now. So, we have taken a, another problem, numerical problem 2. See, this is also RC, series RC circuit and they have given R is equal to 20 ohms and C is equal to 127 microfarad as uh, 60 volt and 58 supply connected to it. Right? So, it is R is equal to 20, C is equal to 127 uh, microfarad. So, I have uh, taken it as my 10 power minus 6. So, V they have given you 60 volt. They are, if they are given you 60 volt, then it is defaultly 0 degree. Then frequency will be 50 hertz. Then they are asking you to find what is Z, I, power factor and power, right? If they are, if they are, give, if they are giving you a generally power, then you need to find what is the real power. It is not necessary to find all the powers. If they are asking you particularly apparent power uh, or uh, reactive power, you go for those kind of things. Or if they are uh, commonly asking you power, then you need to find what is the real power. So, uh, now we need to go for Z value. So, we know the formula, right? What is the formula for, uh, for Z? So, Z will be is equal to R minus JXC, right? They have given you R, but they have not given you the xc value so directly they have not given you xc so what is the formula to find xc xc will be is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into c right we know this one so if you substitute this value so this this will be 2 into pi 2 into pi then it is 50 hertz they have given you and what is the value of uh, c that is 127 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and if i find this one i will get xc you just simplify this value, Xc comes out to be 25.063 ohms. So, this is the value of Xc now. So, we know Xc. So, it is very simple to find the value now. So, Z will be is equal to what is a, a R? R will be 20 minus J into 25.063. That's all. So, this is the Z value. Anyhow, uh, this is in rectangular form and if you convert this to a uh, polar form then z will be is equal to i am getting this uh, 32.064 at an angle of at an angle of 
minus 51.41 degree ohms. Try to understand. We are getting a negative angle here. So, obviously, uh, the uh, current will be leading the voltage by some angle. Some angle, but here it is a zero degree, so this is the leading angle also, right? This is in leading power factor, so uh, it is very simple to say it. So this is also pi. So pi will be is equal to uh, maybe minus fifty one point four one degree. So we know this one now. So next one we need to find what is i. So to find i, we know the formulas now. It is very simple. I will be is equal to v by z. And we know V, here it is 60 at an angle of 0 degree and Z will be 32.064 at an angle of minus 51.41 degree. And now it is very simple, right? This angle is 0, so it will be plus 51.41. In the previous problem, it is minus 90 degree for V, they have given you. That is why we are getting a negative angle for Correct also. So, uh, I comes out to be, I will be is equal to and I am getting it as 5 at an angle of 51.41 degree amperes. See this one now, it is a positive angle. So, it if it is a positive angle, then obviously current leads the voltage by 51.41 degree. Now, we have found what is I. So, next one, uh, next one it is power factor, a new power factor is very simple, what is power factor? It is cos pi and we know what is pi, so cos of minus 51.41 degree and if I find this final answer, power factor is comes out to be 0 0.6237 uh, and uh, this is the power factor and we have to say this is the leading power factor. Why it is a leading power factor? Since we are getting a negative angle in Z. If it is a negative angle in Z, then obviously power factor will be positive. And if it is a positive angle in Z, then it will be power factor will be lagging. Not positive, power factor will be leading and power factor will be lagging. That depends on the is that value anyway excel if you are getting excel then it, is, it will be lagging it is xc then it will be a leading power factor it is very simple to understand so what is power now so uh, power it is also very simple p will be is equal to v i cos pi we know this formula and if you substitute this is the modulus value so all these will be modulus values so v will be here they have given you 60 into i we have found 5 that is here, it is here, that is the modulus value, you have to take modulus values and into cos of minus 51.41 degree and if I simplify this power will be is equal to I am getting 500 watts exactly, I am getting 500 watts. So, this is the final value for the power, that is what they have, they have asked you to find. Right. So, we have taken two different numerical problems. Uh, I have because I have uh, uh, why I have taken this problem, I just need to tell if a voltage value they have given you it is not a, a zero degree value, they have given it to be a different value with a different angle. So, that is why I have taken this, uh, this problem because you, you see by seeing this i, now this i is actually lagging because the uh, angle in the eye tells you that this eye is lagging the voltage by some angle. Why this is happening? Because your V is already lagging. Your V is already because these kind of things all comes. Um, it is a very deep concept. Anyhow, if you are going for uh, um, an electrical core electrical papers, power electronics or power systems, there you can see voltage is a lagging one not a reference one, it is not an input voltage, somewhere else you have taken the voltage and you have given to the some other circuit and uh, that uh, circuit output voltage will be minus uh, 90 degree or some angle will be there. So, those kind of applications you have to follow this procedure and here it is a uh, current is a lagging one uh, but uh, uh, if the z value is negative then obviously 
you can um, tell that this is the leading angle right so these are all the things we have seen today right so go through these problems and we will take up a, a serious rlc circuit in the next class that is very important because rlc circuit will gives you uh, more uh, insight towards the concept of r rl rc rlc separate rlc or everything will comes into the picture now with the help of rlc circuit serious rlc circuit that we will see in the next class thank you